When a male honeybee mates with a queen, his abdomen bursts open. That's quite the buzzkill. But it's not a problem for the queen, because she goes on to mate with a bunch of other enthusiastic party poppers to gather genes for her hive. But hold on, what if the queen's first mate didn't die? Let's say he had an abdomen of steel or something. Could he hang around with the queen and finally become a king bee? Sounds cool, right? Except it's genetically impossible. See, the queen bee isn't royalty because she makes rules. She's a queen because she lays all the eggs, basically the mother of everyone in the hive. And while we're used to hearing about queen bees, other species like termites do have kings. So why not bees? Well, bee genetics are bizarre. In most animals, a baby comes from combining half the genes from the mother with half from the father. But bees? Bees laugh at our rules. Female bees lay eggs with half their genetic material. If a male mates with her, the egg gets fertilized and becomes a female bee. But if she skips the mating, the egg still hatches, but becomes a male bee. Yep, male bees come from unfertilized eggs and only get genes from their mom. And that means male bees can't have sons, only daughters. Even stranger, female bees can become queens if the conditions are right. But male bees? They're just around for mating and exploding. Even if a male bee did survive and try to be the one and only dad to a hive, that creates another problem. His daughters would all be super genetically similar. And if he happened to pass down a dangerous mutation, it could wipe out the whole hive. That's why the queen gathers genes from lots of mates, to create diversity and avoid disaster. But okay, let's imagine we rewrote bee biology. Let's say fertilized eggs became males and unfertilized eggs became females. Would that allow a king bee to finally exist? Nope. Now we just have male bees fathering only more males. And female bees? They could still make daughters without needing males at all. So once again, males become genetically unnecessary. Even in this make-believe scenario, our poor king bee is still out of a job. No matter how far we buzz down this hypothetical trail, bees just don't need kings. But hey, she doesn't wear a crown. She wears mom jeans. And in the hive? That's all the power she needs.